Now, number 14 on my list, I have 50K Mal. Now, Mal, let's be honest. 1v1, he's top 10. I see him going when he was playing in two hype and with cash every time he does 2v2s with cash, he's dominant. He's unstoppable. His mid range is unguardable. He can get to the basket every time he wants to. It's just when he plays 3 run 3s and 5v5s, he struggles because his defense is lackluster and also he gets fatigued easily. So here are his rankings. I give him B plus, B plus for strength, A minus for shooting, C for handles, B for finishing, and C minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is James Harden. Now, just explain what, what Mal's potential is. I think he just need to improve when it comes to having three run threes and five v fives, but two v twos and one v ones, that is Miles Lane. That way, that's when he flourishes. That's when he dominates. He has an amazing step back, just like James Harden. Mid range is, is unstoppable. He can get to the basket, like I said. He just need to improve on his defense. That's why he's number 14 on my list. Now, at number 13 on my list, we have Ty the Guy. Now, before I get into Ty's basketball skills, I want to shout out Ty. I met, I don't know, I don't think he remembers, but I met Ty a couple years back when I was working at Best Buy uh, near Mala, Georgia. Him, I met Ty and Chark, both cool as fuck. They cool, cool dudes, man. They flourish on his YouTube. They are grinding. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. Uh, just shout out to Ty and uh, Chark. Now, Ty, I seen him play college ball, and I also seen a lot of one v ones for him. He is a little bit inconsistent. One couple games he'd be really good, and another game he just probably really don't try. So here are his rankings. I give him B minus for strength, B minus for shooting, C plus for handles, A minus for finishing, and B minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Victor Oladipo. Ty's finishing at the basket, he's very athletic. He got a nice side step shot, and his defense is solid. But some games he doesn't try. If he tries his hardest, I feel like he can be top 10. But that this is why he's number 13 on the list. But again, shout out Ty the guy. He is a real cool, humble dude, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. Now, at number 12 on my list, I have Zach TGG. Another member part of 2 Hype. Now, Zach, he also played college ball. But right now, I just don't think he's motivated to play basketball like that. I feel like if Zach was, took basketball a little more serious, he could be top 10, maybe top 5. He has a lot of potential. But here are his rankings. I give him B for strength, B for shooting, B minus for handles, B plus for finishing and C plus for defense. My NBA comparison might be a little weird, but I compare him to prime Joe Johnson. Let me explain this. Zach has a, to me, has a nice step back jump shot. He can also get to the baskets and his handles was pretty good. He's low key athletic and his defense is solid. He's pretty strong. That's why I compare him to like a prime Joe Johnson because Joe Johnson is prime. He got a really nice step back. His handles was nice, but his defense was a little lackluster. That's why I feel like Zach is a decent comparison to Joe Johnson. Now, at number 11, I have another two hype member, Jester, one of my favorite YouTubers in the community. Jester's game is really nice, man. It's really nice. Especially when it comes to five on fives, he's dominant. He's, he's an easy bucket. He's a person you would pick up to get a bucket. Here are my rankings for his gesture. I give him C for strength, A minus for shooting, B plus for handles, B for finishing, and C minus for defense. My NBA comparison, like everybody else, is Luka Doncic. He definitely resembles Luka, especially defensively. That's what Desert lacks is defense. Desert, honestly, stronger than a lot of people think. But I definitely think he needs to prove in the strength a little bit. 
but definitely his strength, his defense. He can, he can, he's a good finisher at the basket, and he can shoot. He's definitely a corner specialist for sure. Uh, he struggles at top of the key, but other than that, Justin is very solid. I would definitely like him on my team. Now we get into the top ten. This is where things get very interesting. Starting at number ten, we got the one and only Cash Nasty. Now, Cash, one of the strongest people in the YouTube basketball community, and he's a rough rider. He's a doll. You need a person like him on your team. Let me explain why I have Cash over Gesture. You, if we drafting, if we drafting a team, any team in the NBA needs a Patrick Beverly, a Ron Artest. You know what I'm saying? They need a dog on their team to get to the championship. And I feel like Cash is that person. So here are his rankings. I give him A plus for strength, C plus for shooting, C for handles, B minus for finishing, and A plus for defense. My NBA comparison to him at Cash, I hope you're watching this. I hope you like this comparison. I give you a prime run our test. I went different from everybody else when the people saying Patrick Beverly. You're definitely Patrick Beverly. Don't get me wrong. I want to do somebody different and somebody similar at the same time. Prime run of tests. Not just not just the Indiana prime run of tests. Also the older run of tests when he was on the Lakers when he helped Kobe get his last ring. Cash is definitely a person, like I said, you need on your team. Hall of Fame Intimidator. He gets in your grill. He gets you frustrated. His defense is locked down. You can't get past him. And he also improved for the shooting. He's really improved in the shooting game. His handles needs to improve a little bit. His finishing could have been an A minus to a B plus, but since I guess he's been lifting a lot, he's been missing a lot of layups. That's why I give his finishing B minus. So that's why I have Cash at number 10 on my list over Jesse. Like everybody else, you'll hate to play against him, but you'll love to have him on your team. Now, at number nine, I have Duke Dennis. Duke is a 2K YouTuber who's been killing the game. Also been killing the game on the basketball court also. Here are his rankings. I give him B plus for strength, A minus for shooting, B plus for handles, A plus for finishing, and B plus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Prime T Mac. Reason why I give him Prime T Mac, he has a really good Hazel pull up. Duke Dennis Hazel pull up is really nice. He can definitely get to the basket. He has amazing layup package, and also he got good dunk package. T Mac back in his day had a great Hazel game, unstoppable score. You get to the basket anytime he wants to get to the free throw line, and also defend. That's why I compare Duke Dennis to T-Mac. That's why he's number nine on my list. Just a very athletic player. I also shoot, he can't, and he also play defense. Can't really do much wrong on the court. Now, at number eight on my list, we have Trey Good, part of Kit Genius. Now, Trey, two years ago, could have been top five. Trey is elite. Trey, can, he can really go. Here are his rankings. I give him B for strength, A for shooting, B plus for handles, A for finishing, and B plus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is prime Brandon Roy. Let me explain. Trey Good has a very good mid-range jump shot just like Brandon Roy did back in the day. And he is very athletic for his size. And his, def his defense is underrated and very solid. He has nice handle in him. He's really like a slasher guard that gets to the basket anytime he wants to. Playing with Jay Jones, that duel was unstoppable. Brandon Roy, in his prime, had a like, like I said, a great mid-range jump shot, great side step, and also get to the basket. Great, he was just a great guard that injuries derailed his career, unfortunately. And I feel like Trey Good, he's just now getting back to basketball, but this is why he's number eight on my list. Now, number seven on my list, I have Jay Jones, Jeremy Jones. Another member part of King Genius, playing with Trey Good. Jay Jones, his whole game is solid, man. Whole game. 
mid-range killer. Used to watch him a lot, hooping when he was at SneakerCon, like all the videos he was posting like back in the day. He was he was the one that could have really gone. Like both of them, Trey Good and Jay Jones could have like really gone like into the G League. Like these this guy, both of them, but this guy right here is real. Like here are my rankings for Jay Jones. I give him A minus for strength, A minus for shooting, B plus for handles. B plus for finishing it. A minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Eric Bledsoe. Jay Jones, very athletic. Defensive stopper. Can't get really get past him. Mid-range killer. Got a good handle in him. And also very fast. Just for his size, Jay Jones is really nice. That's why he's number seven on my list. Now, at number six on my list, I got Solo Minotti. Now, Solo Minotti hasn't really posted much basketball content. If he would have posted a little bit more, he would probably have been top five because his skill is there. We seen a couple highlights, we seen a couple of clips. We seen him go against Flight. We also seen him go against Friend Shooter and also a college basketball hooper. His skill is there. He got a long wingspan, get to the rim anytime he wants to. He's about six sits. His jump shot is a shot shot, but it's butter. It, 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 he really don't miss. So here are my rankings for uh, Solo Minotti. Strength, B plus, shooting, A. B for handles, A for finishing, and A for defense. My NBA comparison to him is prime Tayshaun Prince. Solo Minotti, he got really good defense. Like I said, he got decent, pretty good handles. I see him going gets like 3v3s, and I seen like a couple months ago, he put up a clip versus YouTuber on his birthday trying to give him some Gucci's if he would have beat him. First game, he struggled, but second game, he was he couldn't miss. Like, so Minotti, his skill is there. I think he need to play more basketball YouTubers, obviously. He need to put more basketball content out there. Then he'll be probably top five. But that's why he's number six on my list. He's also an ex-college basketball hooper. Now, number five on my list, I have one and only DC Heat. Now, I've been following DC Heat for a minute now. I, I seen his progress a couple years back when he was playing as a nerd and he was dominating people when he was like 15 years old. Now he was like 18, 19, I believe. He's got a lot better. So here are my rankings for DC Heat. I give him B minus for strength, A for shooting, B minus for handles, A for finishing, and B for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Brandon Ingram, just because his his improvement. Just like Brandon Ingram, I feel like Brandon Ingram is going probably going to win the most improved player in the NBA. DC Heat is one of the most improved players in the YouTube community. He just went against Devontae Frigga, and he beat him. And Devontae Frigga is nice. DC Heat, his size, he used that to his advantage. Got good shooting ability. His finish, he, he really can finish at the basket now. He, he got a good dunk package and layup package. His defense improved, and he's, a, he's about to be a college basketball hooper. I believe he is now. I'm not sure. I did see a couple clips of him other than the Devontae Frigga game. He's definitely proof. So that's why he's number five on my list. Now, number four on my list, I got one and only LSK. Obviously, LSK, his potential is off the roof. It's not because it's height. I'm tired of people saying just because he sits 10, he's automatically good. No. There's a lot of people also in the NBA that's seven feet tall that has no skill whatsoever. LSK got skill. So here are my rankings for LSK. I give him B for strength, A minus for shooting, B minus for handles, A for finishing, and A for defense. Now my NBA comparison to him is Michael Porter Jr. If y'all remember Michael Porter Jr. back in high school, he was one of the best high school players I ever seen. LSK's potential is just like him. He plays just like him. He finishes at the basket just like him. He shoots like him. If he improves his handle like him, LSK will be so dominant. Obviously, injuries really derail a little bit of his basketball. He still hoops, but not as like he used to. 
I hope he liked this comparison because, like, Michael Porter Jr., like, he's on Denver right now. His best game, he dropped 25 and only missed two shots. LSK is like that. LSK is very efficient because we've seen him at SinkyCon. So that's why LSK, not a member of two hype. That's why he's number four on my list. Now, number three on my list, I have T Jazz. Now, I'm, I know many people out there have seen his layups, his crazy layup package, what he's been doing, like all the videos. He's not just that. This this guy can hoop. This guy can straight up hoop. Here are my records for him. Strength, A minus, A for shooting, A plus for handles, A plus for finishing, and A minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is obviously Kyrie Irving. T Jazz, unstoppable at the basket. Let's be honest. You can't like he will do any kind of layup package on you. His handles is crazy. But also his shooting is underrated. His mid range is unstoppable. We seen so many clips. I seen so many clips. Not just him doing layup packs. I seen real hooping clips. Like did one v ones. He his layup like his mid range, and like he's been really proven beyond the yard. Also, he's very tough. He is a tough opponent to go against, and he can defend. So that's why he's number three on my list. T Jazz can really go. Like he's really trying to get in the league. I believe he can get in the league. Like his. He has the talent. He has the potential. He just needs a flourish. That's why he's number three on my list. Now, number two on my list, the top two. A person I just now starting to, you know, watch, like, a couple weeks back. I see him going against DC Heat, and I was impressed. And then I kept seeing a lot of other clips of him. I was like, yeah, this dude is real. He's a college basketball hooper, Devontae Frieger. Here are my rankings for him. A for strength, A for shooting, A minus for handles, A plus for finishing, A for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Jalen Brown. The reason why I compare him to Jalen Brown, same, he's like a slasher. I was going to compare him to Paul George, like a young Paul George, but I was like, I think Jalen Brown makes a little more sense just because he's more of a slasher, not really a two-way player, even though D Frigga's defense is pretty good. Seeing couple clips, not just the DC, he not just the one v ones. He did D three hoopers. I seen his college basketball highlights. He could flat out shoot. He could shoot. He got good finishing ability. Handles is there, and he's very quick. He's very. That's the one thing I realized in this game. He is very quick. So that's why he is number two on my list. He's another hooper that can really go. That can honestly be on my Nets actual real Hooper basketball YouTuber list. Now, the moment y'all been waiting for. At number one, we got the one and only AJ LaPrey. Now, everybody, let's be honest. Almost everybody know about AJ, man. AJ is not just a shooter. He's not just a shooter. And he can flat out shoot the ball. He's very athletic. You can look at him and think, nah, he's a, he just a shooter. He's not going to do anything else. No, he can hoop. Here are my rankings for AJ. A minus for strength. A plus for shooting. A minus for handles. A plus for finishing. And A for defense. My NBA comparison to him is a prime Danilo Gallinari. Even a, a, a Danilo Gallinari now. Just because... I've seen a lot of other people comparing to Clay Thompson. Yeah, he can shoot. He can shoot like him, but he's more athletic than Clay. Do you know Gallinari is athletic, and he can also pass, and he got more size than Clay. That's why I compare him to Gallinari. AJ, he really he recently just uploaded a clip where he dropped sixty six points as like an exhibition game. Like, his shooting is there. Like, his mid-range is unstoppable. His three-point is unstoppable. But he can also boom on you. He can also f do a crazy layup package, finish at the basket. He got great handles, and his defense is locked down. So, yeah, man. That is my most realistic top 25 basketball YouTuber list. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's probably going to be controversial. I know I'm going to get a lot of feedback. Uh, I will be dropping the top 10 actual Hooper basketball YouTuber list of the YouTubers that I excluded from this, this list. So stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on post notifications for the next video dropping very soon. And I thank y'all for tuning in for this video, man. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.